Welcome back, it's Marvin Alexis Fitness. I'm Marvin, of course. Like this, I just got this in the mail from Pump Chasers. It's a sweet shirt, it's in black and gold. I'll be working out in this. It's gonna be sick. It's about five, a little after five in the morning. Everyone's still asleep, so that's why I'm a little quiet. But we're gonna go make some breakfast and we're gonna have a good morning. Cause today, we're gonna crush chest and I get to work from home. So what's going on? I'm cutting down right now, so since my macros are so low, and since I've lost so much weight in the last seven months, about 25, almost 30 pounds now actually, uh, my bench has definitely gone down. My deadlifts are still up, my squats are still okay, my bench definitely took a beating. So right now, I just did 135 for 12, went up pretty fast. I'm gonna do 175, I'm aiming between six to 12 reps right now usually like to go a little bit higher since I'm still in that bodybuilding and training kind of phase to keep my physique up. If you guys can't see, rocking that pump chasers. Uh, hopefully I can get this up and maybe hit 205 and see how much I can go for. Wow, that was a lot harder than I thought. Before I lost weight, my bench was like 240 for like three, or 230 for three. Let's just say 230 for three. I just benched 205 for like one, and that was way harder. And that's one thing you have to keep in mind when you're losing weight. Your strength is definitely gonna go down, especially with bench press. I'm not sure if anyone else has like gotten this problem as well or have faced it but you just learn how to deal with it try to keep your strength up i mean my bench definitely went down but my squat and again my deadlift is still okay but i'm all right with this when i start to fill up i'm expecting to see this bench fly up as well so i just dropped it down to 185 and i'm just gonna crank out a few more one thing i don't like about this gym i have to go to the bathroom and i have to go down Six flights of stairs. So my gym has this provided for us. It's a speaker system, but it's Bluetooth. So I can play my music while I work out without having to use my headphones. This is actually so awesome. I love that cathedral. It looks so pretty. Makes everything look nice in the shot. Still using that professional selfie stick. I'm gonna keep that cathedral in the shot while I talk to you guys. So I just finished up my workout. It was a little bit longer than usual. It was about two and a half hours long. I did chest, I incorporated some abs, and then I did about 41 minutes of cardio, the reason why it's 41, one minute warm up, 10 minutes hit, and then 30 minutes of moderate intensity steady state cardio. Uh, it helps me burn fat, not lose all my gains. We don't want that to happen. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit later about how to maintain strength while losing weight. So. As you probably saw earlier in the video, uh, my bench <laughs> is definitely lower than what it once was. But I'll talk to you guys about what I did to maintain and preserve as much, much strength, much strength as possible during a cut. I lost the 30 pounds over the course of almost one, two, three, five, almost eight months now. So I definitely did it a little bit slower, but I did that strategically to lose weight and also preserve as much strength as possible. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that once I get home, have my post-workout shake. I'll show you guys what that consists of. And that's someone pulling up. I'm gonna walk a little bit faster. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Woo! This is the best post-workout shake in my opinion. So first off, eight ounces of almond milk. Gotta have this, absolutely delicious. But 
What I like is adding MTS Carb 10. This stuff is bananas. This is an amazing form of carbohydrate. I've been taking this stuff post-workout. And then I also have bought in some bioactive whey from Isatori. First off, this is cookies and cream. This is absolutely delicious. It's one of the best cookies and cream. Definitely next to MTS cookies and cream. If you haven't tried it, definitely go check it out. But this also has Biogro in it. It's just helped me with rapid recovery. I think it's great and the fact that this comes in cookies and cream, mix that with machine carb 10, put them together, comes out absolutely delicious. Go check it out. What's going on guys? So thanks for coming back. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to maintain as much strength as you can while losing weight. So as I mentioned earlier, if you haven't seen so, my motivational slash weight loss journey video, I posted that up last uh, Tuesday. So by the time you're seeing this, it's already out. Please go check it out if you haven't. I lost 30, well, I my first weight loss, I lost over 100 pounds, then I gained 50 pounds. Then I dropped like 30 again, and now I'm at 173 as of this morning. The way I lost my weight was over the course of about almost eight months now, and losing about 30 pounds over the course of eight months, that comes to be about three pounds a month. I did that strategically knowing that I was going to lose strength. You're going to, especially when my macros are so low now. I'm really excited that I'll be starting to incorporate more calories and more like macronutrients, more macros um, over the next month. But what I did was I lost one to two pounds a month. The way I did that was by, you know, cutting my macros little by little. I worked with my coach at the time and he was extremely helpful in cutting my macros enough so I was still able to maintain strength. If you saw my transformation video, I'm still lean, I'm pretty cut right now, I'm still cutting a little bit more, then I'm gonna maintain body weight. But what I what really helped me a lot was keeping track of my workouts, logging it all, taking a look at every single week, trying to make improvements, whether it be something in my bench press, my deadlift, my squat, my goblet squats, everything. I would always want to bring up the intensity, even if I was losing weight, even if my macros were being cut, I wanted to keep up the intensity and keep working hard. So if you're looking to try and maintain strength, you're not going to keep all of your strength. My bench hit really hard as you saw earlier in the clip. Your strength is gonna drop, it's going to happen. You just learn how to live with it and still maintain as much gains as possible. So my recommendations is if you're going to lose weight, do it slowly if you wanna get cut and maintain your strength as much as possible. I'm going to be making a transition over the next month, which I'm really excited about because I've been cutting for almost nine months and it's really exhausting and I've been counting the days until I can start adding back my calories, adding more carbs, more fats, which I'm really excited to do. It's going to be a learning process. I've never done that before. Usually I lose weight and kind of just figure out what to do from there and kind of just play by ear, but now I'm taking a strategic approach. This is an art. This is a process and I'm learning as I go along. I've never done it before. I've never added calories. I've never, you know, done this at all. This is all so new. So I'm glad you guys are gonna stick around from the journey. Check it out. I'm actually in the process of making some pizza. If you haven't seen the pizza video, if you wanna make macro-friendly pizza, you wanna make it easily, takes little to no skill at all. I just played it by ear. Check it out. Can you guys guess what I'm making? It's bacon and cheese pizza. Real bacon, real cheese. It's going to be delicious. Also, I'm working from home. Ah, in my PJs. Das Bay. Bacon and cheese pizza. What's going on everyone? So it is 6.40 at night. I totally forgot to vlog. You guys really didn't miss out on much. I was just sitting at my laptop literally all day. And then I posted my 10 year long weight loss journey. If you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. It can inspire you or someone that you love to live a longer, healthier, happier life. Please go check that out. Again, thank you guys so much for coming and watching. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe. And please, more content. More and more content coming out. And now I'm gonna go walk Luna. Wish you guys all a good night. This is Marvin. I'm out.